King Serenoa invites Archduke Gustadolf to Glenbrook in hopes of securing an alliance with the duchy. Gustadolf accepts the secret invitation and makes his way to Whiteholm Castle. However, the salt crystal deposits uncovered in the Grand Norzelian Mines are currently in the hands of Serenoa. A meeting between the two great rulers comes with equally great risk. What is the meaning of this, Lord Benedict? It is as I said. The Kingdom of Glenbrook will cease all business with the Norzelia Consortium. The related parties should leave Glenbrook immediately, and any assets remaining shall be seized by the Kingdom. This is madness! Not only will you cut your ties with Hyzant, but the Consortium as well? How do you intend to get your salt now? You needn't worry about that. So it's true. Glenbrook has mined salt crystals from deep beneath the earth. It is no business of the Consortium's. You dare slight us after all we've done for Norzelia? The post-war accord said that someone must ensure the fair distribution of salt, and so we did. And we appreciate all your efforts. However, King Serenoa has no need for the Consortium in Glenbrook. The nerve of you people. Hyzant will never forgive such insolence. Save your tears for the long road back home. The Consortium was only ever good for lining its own pockets. Which is far from fair as I see it. I see now. House Wolfort wishes to see the Consortium eliminated in its entirety. In that case, I will return to Hyzant as you said and report this outrage. Was it right to provoke him? Clarus may use his underground connections to stop us. That was my intention. He will now bring disorder to Hyzant's unity. More importantly, the new Norzelia truly has no need for the Consortium and its control over Salt's distribution. The new Norzelia? The world King Serenoa would rule. I have formulated a plan to bring about that new age. But first, our negotiations with Gustadolf must succeed. Sir, Archduke Gustadolf's ship will be arriving any minute now. Thank you. The outcome of our negotiations hinges on King Serenoa's decision. I must speak with him, alone. The Archduke will be here shortly. Thank you. Our future rests on these negotiations, doesn't it? Have you read The Power of Salt? I have. Lord Dragan gave it to us before he died. It contains all he gleaned in his research on salt. I thought it might give us a clue as to how we can convince Archduke Gustadolf to aid us. I understand now just how much potential salt possesses. Indeed, it is not merely a seasoning for food. We have control over the salt crystal veins. We can use this to our advantage during negotiations. But this is Gustadolf we are dealing with. Pressure and intimidation will only cause him to bare his fangs. Negotiate poorly, and we will end up swallowed by the duchy in the name of Gustadolf's freedom. What do you think we should do, Benedict? Before I answer, I would know one thing. Is it your desire to monopolize the salt crystals, Your Majesty? I 
have no desire to do so. That would make us no different than Hyzant. And seeing as Gusadolf sought to break the Holy State's monopoly, I doubt he would ally with us. But we will merely be used as pawns, should we give him the salt crystals. I have no intention of doing that either. Lord Dragan's answers shall guide us. I will use the salt to bring about a free and prosperous Norzelia, greater even than Gustadolf could. If I can prove that to him, I am certain he would join our cause. Precisely. You prove time and again you are worthy to stand atop the summit of Norzelia. I have a befitting strategy in mind. Lord Serenoa, would you allow me to negotiate with the Archduke? <sighs> Very well. We must have him on our side. And we shall. Most intriguing. You once refused to bend the knee to me at this very spot, and now seek an alliance as King of Glenbrook. I could not have foreseen this moment either back then. Nor that you would have your own cousin slain after discovering the salt crystal veins. I hope you aren't expecting an apology. Have we not usurped the same throne? I have not asked you here to discuss the past, but the future. I am certain you understand that taking on Hyzant alone is a fool's errand. We must unite if we are to stand a chance. And you expect me to believe that one of the saintly seven wishes to defeat the holy state itself? We must prevent Hyzant from gaining complete control over Salt and consequently, Norzelia. I even parted from a dear friend over it. I see. I have no objections to overthrowing Hyzant. Then let us begin the negotiations. Silence! I am here to speak with King Serenoa, not his servant. I have given Benedict full rights to be here. Consider his words my own. Hmm. So the bird did not break free after all. His vassal opened the cage door. Very well then. But allow me to make this clear. If you wish for an alliance, you will give me the salt crystal veins. They belong to Esfrost for having discovered them in the first place. We cannot do that then we have nothing to discuss. Pray answer me this, Archduke. What do you intend to do with the salt? People need salt to live. But here in Norzelia, it is owned entirely by Hyzant and the Consortium. Their high taxes make it nearly impossible for some to obtain. Once I defeat Hyzant, I will abolish both that abhorrent Consortium and its taxes and allow free trade throughout the land. I would ensure that any who desire salt receive their fair share of it. That would make you the only one with control over salt. It is no different than Hyzant now. I do not covet riches like they do. Under my rule, the people would have salt. They would finally have freedom. This is the only future before us. I beg to differ. We intend to make salt available to all. Anyone will be able to obtain as much as they like for a modest price. You would put control of salt in the hands of the people? To what end? To change the world with the potential residing within every grain of salt. For example, preserving foods with salt would make life and trade more prosperous than ever before. Using salt in leather and glass crafting could create newer and better goods. Farmers could give it to their livestock, and it could also be used in various medicines. 
It can even be used in explosives. How do you know about that? These are but a handful of examples. If we give the people access to salt, there is no telling how many other uses they may find. Norzelia will enter a golden age of prosperity, and her people will thrive like never before. I did not take you for an idealist. I think we both know that the people lack the intelligence for innovation. They just haven't been afforded the chance, but with the proper mechanisms in place, they can be taught. I have already started work on a plan to make salt available over the course of several years. Do not underestimate the people's greed. It won't be long before they turn on their rulers, intoxicated by the power of salt. The very nation you sought to defeat feared the same, and sought to control them with their goddess's might. Hmm. Archduke Gustadolf, I do not fear a free people. I wish to lead them, but will fight if I must. That is why I took this throne. I believe anyone who wishes to rule the new Norzelia should be prepared to do the same. Tell me this. How did you know Salt possesses such potential? And I would ask you in return, were you unaware of it yourself? It was all written in a book Lord Dragan gave us. It is the result of his extensive research at the Asfrosti Archives. Dragan. You mean to say it was the knowledge of one of my own? Had I made him Prime Minister, our positions would be reversed. So this is my punishment for seeing him killed. Very well. Consider me interested in the future House Wolfort sees for this world. As the Archduke of Esfrost, I hereby swear my allegiance to your cause. You have our thanks, Archduke Gustav. It is only a matter of time until Hyzant realizes what we are planning. Let us proceed to the War Council. Lead the way. Glenbrook and Esfrost have entered into an alliance. You and I are enemies no longer. I am glad to hear it. Thank you for joining our cause. Together, we will strike down Hyzant. For the Roselle as well. I am sure your mother would have been happy to hear it. Indeed. Frederica, do you resent me for attacking House Wolfort? I have come to an understanding of what you hoped to accomplish. Your duties as Archduke outweigh your personal desires. Precisely. I have no regrets for what I've done. Neither do I regret standing against you, or slaying Erika and Thallis. Not because I harbor personal grudges against any of you, but because my eyes must look not to the past, but to the future. King Serenoa said the same earlier. It should come as no surprise, Archduke Gustadolf. He and I walk the same path, hand in hand. You've grown strong, Frederica. The Kingdom of Glenbrook and the Duchy of Esfrost enter an alliance. Their combined forces led by Serenoa. Together, they set out to strike down the holy state of Hyzant. Sensing their movements, the Desert Nation summons Exham soldiers home from their march on the Grand Norzelian Mines to prepare for the arrival of the Allied forces. Though the walls around the Holy State have kept it safe for many years, it is now up to Benedict to discern how best to penetrate the Goddess's shield.
Benedict, have you finalized our plan of attack against Hyzant? I have. We shall shatter the goddess's shield with Esfrost's death snell. We can then storm the capital and take Hyzant. However, there is one problem that remains. Transporting, placing, and firing the weapon will take a considerable amount of time. So we must draw the Hyzantian army's attention away from the cannon until it is ready. But they might confine themselves to their castle rather than come out and fight us. We must draw them out. We cannot allow them the opportunity to calmly scout about. Buying time against Minister Exham's forces won't be easy. The damage will be great, even if we do succeed. Esfrost cannot hope to triumph alone. Which is why I have measures in place to ensure our victory. Anna, did you send the letter like I asked? Yes. I sent an unsigned message to Minister Tenebris. It included details of his and Sorsley's illicit salt trade and their profitable underground arena. I also added that we would report it to the Holy One, and enclosed a copy of the evidence I gathered. Perfect. Tenebris will fear for his position and desperately look for any way to establish himself worthy of his seat. And what of Claris? As predicted, he has returned to Hyzant. Claris was master of the underground arena and Tenebris his bookmaker. Now the merchant needs someone in his corner and the saint needs a pawn. With nowhere left to go, the two will join forces and be the ones to throw Hyzant's strategy into disarray. They will do anything to defeat House Wolford. I see. We should be able to buy time against their improvised army. But there is no guarantee it will work. One last letter should be all the push that Tenebris needs. Another letter? Signed by Prince Roland, asking for his aid in destroying House Wolfort, who stole his throne. It lays out a plan in which Prince Roland will attack us from behind with his own army, while we fight Tenebris in front. What? There is no reason for him to doubt it. I forged his handwriting and sealed it with the royal band. I made an imprint of his ring when I took it to fake his death. I thought it might come in handy someday. Benedict. Everyone knows of Prince Roland and King Serenoa's disagreement. If Tenebris thinks he has a chance of winning, he will take it. Even if the odds aren't in his favor. I understand. But does King Serenoa know? No, he does not. He would not forgive me for using Prince Roland as such. This was entirely my cunning. King Serenoa. I heard everything. Your plan gives us the greatest chance of victory. I hereby order you to see it through. Are you certain? I am certain there is no going back for us, only forward. As you command. His decision made, Serenoa marches toward Hyzant, certain a victorious end will justify even the most underhanded means. A letter, forged with his old friend's name, arrives in the Holy State, and all the pieces begin to move according to Benedict's plan. I see. So House Wolfort seeks to destroy not only Hyzant, 
but the consortium as well. Yes, they would bring ruin to the Order of Norzelia we worked so hard to build. Minister Tenebris, you must have the Holy One strike them down. But of course, House Wolfort must be punished for defying the goddess. Were that I able to chasten them with my own hands? Alas, I am unfit to command. But you, Lord Claris, are a master at assembling the mercenaries and ruffians in the underground arena. It is only natural for a merchant to have knowledge of battle. He must protect his wares at all costs. How heartening it is to hear you say that. Now I am certain there is no other who could fulfill my request. Lord Claris, I wish for you to serve me and ride to battle against House Wolfort. You may leave the issue of troops to me. You wish for me to command your soldiers? Our odds are more favorable than you think. You see, I received a letter from a certain someone not days ago. Let us defeat the usurpers of House Wolfort together. Signed by King Roland himself. King Roland? Truly? It has the seal of the royal family. I have confirmed it myself to be true. So King Roland really was overthrown. Were I in his shoes, I would also want revenge against such traitors. He also wrote that he will spring a surprise attack from behind during the battle. Oh, with King Roland on our side, House Wolfort won't stand a chance against us. Have you spoke to anyone else of this, Minister Tenebris? No. You are the only one I wish to share this victory with. I am happy to hear it. I will do all I can in your service. When you said you would gather the troops, I had not expected cavalry, Minister Tenebris. It was the least I could do to ensure our victory. I leave them in your charge, Lord Claris. Once you defeat Wolfort, a seat among the saintly seven will be left open. And I think none more fitting for that place as the Minister of Salt than you, Lord Claris. You flatter me, Minister Tenebris. I think your deeds this day may earn you the position of Minister Edor. <laughs> yes, with this victory I can erase the sins of my past. House Wolfort is coming his way. Are you sure you needn't any aid, Minister Tenebris? I know you wish to lead the vanguard, but House Wolfort is not to be underestimated. Worry not, Minister Exham. I have given Lord Claris a certain path to victory. Yes, you may rest easy. Understood. Then I leave it to you. Let us watch Lord Claris triumph over House Wolfort together. Pray for your victory. Even should you lose, the god as a shield will protect us. Archduke Gustadolf and Lord Svarog's armies have left with the cannon. They should be able to sneak around the city's southern side and make the necessary preparations. And let us make our move too. 
Finally. I'm ready for a fight. Do not forget, our objective is to draw the enemy's eyes to us and stall for time. I know, I know. We'll draw their forces to the western side of the shield, while Esfrost readies the cannon to the south. And after they blast through the wall, we pour in and take the palace. Right? Exactly. We must be cautious. King Serenoa, please speak with the soldiers before we depart. Hearing their commander's words will no doubt raise their spirits. I shall. I see a path to victory. This will serve well. Sounds 
strike. Suffer sound strike. Let's play. Shall I? I, I don't pull my punches. This battle is ours. Darkness engulfs you. Now it's my turn. Show no mercy. I must refine my skills. Ouch! Ah. That's that's my stratagem is superior. That plane is dead. Come at me! To victory! I love the battle. I shall do what I can. Go quick. This is wonderful. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Nor does that seem to work. I will end this. I just as I planned. My time has come. You painful, wasn't it? Come get me. Here I come. Focus. Yeah. Shall I? <laughs> now what to do? You won't know up from down.
A wasted effort. Leave everything to me. shall prevail. Victory goes to the quick. Oh, how lovely. Ah, I've been waiting for this. To victory! Allow me. Wasted effort. Uh. You have nothing left. Uh. Curses. I shall do what I can. Allow me. Much obliged. Allow me. Time to end this. I won't let you down. Come at me! 
Push on through! I cannot lose. I shall protect you! My time has come. Out of my way! My work bears fruit. My turn. My turn. Prepare yourself. prevail. Victory goes to the quick. How gracious. You won't beat me! To victory! Set. It hurts. Let me help. My time has come.
on this range. Leave everything to me. What are you and your cups about? Allow me. My fist struck true. Ugh. This should do. Much appreciated. Time to work. shall prevail. I'm behind you. I'm just getting started. I've been waiting for this! Show me what you're made of. Allow me. Might I sit here for a bit? If you don't mind the company of this old maid, you're more than welcome. Well now, shall we have ourselves a little chat to pass the time? By all means. 
I would like nothing more than to hear of your exploits in the Salt Iron War. I have read much of your surpassing prowess on the battlefield, but would be honored to learn more in your own words. Oh, child, that was so many, many years ago. How many enemies did I fell on the battlefield? I long since lost count. They say my very name was feared throughout the land. You and others may call them exploits. The truth is, I was nothing more than a skilled dealer of death. You sound as if you regret it. Against fellow soldiers and warriors like myself? No, that is simply the way of war. But my acts also brought suffering to those who did not deserve it. The Roselle, for example. The Roselle? How so? I was leading a siege on the citadel of the Sands in Hyzant, not far from the source. The Hyzantian commander was a worthy foe. The battle drew on, and we were losing men and resources with little to show for it. Seeking to end the battle quickly, I chose to raise the fort with wildfire, and so it fell. All too late did I learn that its jails were filled with Roselle, captured slaves who had fled servitude at the lake. But you did not know they were there. You can hardly blame yourself for their fate. Do you think the Roselle who roasted to death would say the same? What of their families? You cannot forgive yourself for this, even so many years later. And why should I? Because my countrymen sing of me as a hero? To this day, visions of charred bodies lying in the rubble haunt me. Lumps of burnt flesh that were once men and women who wished only for their freedom. At first, I tried to forget, but the weight of my sins was too heavy to bear, and so I abandoned everything and left my home behind. Fortunately, I had already trained a protege to follow in my place. And ever since then, you've wandered the realm alone? Yes, but no matter how far I traveled, I could not escape my regrets. And now, Norzelia finds itself embroiled in another bloody struggle. The horrors of the past come anew. If fighting is all I am good for, then the least I can do is fight for peace. It may not atone for the death and suffering I have wrought, but at least it may save others from the same fate. I... I'm sorry. It was not my intention to make you relive such painful memories. <laughs> Worry not, lass. Truth be told, it's something I've been hoping to get off my chest for a while now. But this old maid's rambled on long enough, I reckon. Thank you for the company, child. House Wolfort, you will rue the day you spurned me. Cavalry, prepare to charge. The vanguard is led by Claris of the Consortium. They managed to avoid a battle with their main forces as intended. Indeed, but their numbers are greater than I anticipated. Unfortunately so. But Claris anticipates Roland's coming to his aid and has likely let his guard down. This is a perfect chance to call Hyzant's numbers. With all due respect, Your Majesty. I know. I shan't let my guard down. This is the first battle of the war. We must demonstrate our might not only to Hyzant, but Esfrost as well. Benedict. Let the soldiers know of this battle's import. I shall. Warriors of Wolfort, listen well. 
This is more than a battle against the holy state of Hyzant. This is a battle against their salt monopoly, their teachings, their consortium. This is a battle against everything that keeps Norzelia chained to the past. This battle will carve the way to a new era, one where we all have salt and all are free. And the leader of that new era will be none other than King Saranoa. Now, draw your swords. For a new Norzelia, for his majesty, King Saranoa. For Norzelia! Soldiers, advance! Strike down the vanguard! I shall put an end to House Wolfort's arrogance here and now. They will repent for stealing the throne. Won't those fools be surprised to see who has joined our side? <laughs> Claris looks awfully confident. That can only mean he's fallen into Benedict's trap. But we mustn't get cocky. We are up against the Byzantine cavalry. No! Charge! There is no mercy on the battlefield. We must move fast. My turn. For life. Ah, right then. The hunt is on. I won't miss. Come if you dare. My pride is my shield. Curses. for this. Allow me. It's nothing personal. I shall do what I can. Make the most of this. That'll do. Come 
trouble. I shall try my level best. It is time to strike. Ah, right then. Your orders? Suffer. You will escape. You've done it now! You won't beat me! Out of my way! This battle is ours! Curses! Death from above! To lead, I must grow. Ready or not, here I come! Roland's army will arrive any moment now. Shall we begin? Victory goes to the cliff. Aye, I'll keep on that. There is no mercy on the battlefield. This is our That'll chance. That'll do! Like I'm up. That's it. Ah, right then. I will end this. Search bears fruit. Reinforcements! Give them no quarter! Claris is well prepared. We mustn't let our guard down. My turn. The end. Ah! Back at you. Ah, right then. Come at me. Best. 
for the future of House Wolford. Shall we begin? This is what I do. Thank you. Where was I? Be gone! Allow me. You're not getting away. I'm only getting started. Allow me. I've learned. to be brought this low with Minister Tenebris's cavalry. I've been waiting for this! by House Wolfort. Hmm. Clarice looks quite flustered. I shall try my level best. All for victory. Much appreciated. Open. Ah, tricky. I can hold my own in a fight. Claris, I knew you would join hands with Hyzant. Once I defeat your lord, the last seed of the Saintly Seven shall be mine. You have yet to realize your strings are being pulled by another. What a fool you are. Enough! I shall be the victor here, not you! Cool heads shall prevail. I'm behind you. Oh, better now. Now then, to work. Oh. Away with you! Most interesting. Allow me. We'll make our ideals reality. We still have this.
I've been waiting for this. You're done. I shall try my level best. Ah, following yeah. up. Yeah! Time to work. It's over. Into the shadows. Help me! to victory. That seemed to work. Come get me. shall prevail. Make the most of this. Incredible. My growth is plain to see. So, it falls to me. Away with you! Didn't account for this. <laughs> exactly Allow as planned. I 
was played for a fool and lost my composure. I no longer. So this is the end of our era. I'm pleased to report that Claris's army has been defeated. Good. Now the enemy will concentrate all their power on us. Benedict, please rest. There are no signs of the enemy nearby. They remain wary, watching us from afar. There is no time to rest. I concur. Minister Exam's army is likely our next opponent. We must prepare to intercept them. Please wait, Your Majesty. Benedict has barely slept since Prince Roland's departure, even if just a moment. Anna, our feint is not yet finished. We haven't the leisure of resting. I will be ready shortly. Good. Anna, help Benedict. Yes, sir. Looks like it was too big a task for Clarus after all. It shouldn't have ended like this. King Roland was meant to attack from behind. King Roland? What are you talking about? I received a letter from His Majesty asking us to strike at House Wolfort together. A fraud without a doubt, likely sent by the strategist Benedict. No, it cannot be. It was sealed with the royal band. That tactician could even forge the royal seal if he wanted to. And one truly hoping to strike down Wolfort would not beseech a man so incompetent as you for help. Yet they did. And you believed them without a second thought. But I... Now Glenbrook has successfully taken the initiative. I care not if Claris perished. The loss of so many cavalry is a hard blow to our forces. Please, Minister Edor, give me a chance to make this right. You have failed. Do you really think you deserve a second chance? Minister Tenebris, I should let you know you were not the only one to receive a letter in secret. But the one I have claims you were involved in trading illicit salt and operating an underground arena for profit. Please, forgive me. That is for the Holy One to decide. The Hierophant must know of this turn of events. Let us return to the palace together. Minister Exam, I leave the city's protection in your capable hands. Understood. I shall crush House Wolford. May the Goddess be with you.